great people, great people of Biafra, my great people. I am back again today, my great people of Biafra. Join me, join me so quick. Join me on today's broadcast. It's going to be a very quick one. You know, I have decoded them and I want to bust them all. That is the reason why I am here today. And I want every one of you to pay very big attention on today's broadcast. On today's broadcast. I want us to pay very big attention and understand everything that I'm saying. Because I want to take you back. I want to take you people back from the root of all this problem. I am done with my video right now. It's okay now. I hope I'm getting it right. Yes, we are getting it right right now. Thank you, great people of Biafra. Thank you, Freedom Fighters. Thank you, lovers of freedom, for joining me today on IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazin Namdekano. I salute you all, and I welcome you, every one of you. And I would like to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and some of you that are about to sleep, I will also say good night. What I'm going to do today is something that is very, very special, very special one. I want to talk about this my video today before I will introduce myself. I want to let you people understand those that I'm directing this video to. This video goes straight to those call themselves Omoada. And I'm still remaining on the same word that these people are Omoakata. There is nothing they can do. These people, they are just yapping for nothing. I don't know how you will begin to defend your idiocy or your illiteracy. I want you people to understand that. You see, sometimes uh, Simon Eber in Finland, that is Berima, that in those half year, I have called you people, I have told you people, time with that number that Simon Eber is just an enigma pool. Simon Eber knows nothing. Of course, the, everybody is calling Simon Eber, Simon Eber, Simon Eber. But Simon Eber was not the real uh, people in charge. Simon Eber is just an, a picture that they are fronting. I hope you are getting my point, my people. Let me introduce myself to those that are seeing me for the first time. I still remain the Biafran child in watching Mazo Kechuku. The general, I am from Ehala in Anambra, Anambra in Biafra land. I am IPOB on that chain of command. VOS is the highest office of this movement. And the Mazin Namdekano is the highest commander. IPOB is our family. I welcome you all, great people. You see, the expose that I'm about to do right now is very, very exclusive expose because I have decoded them since day one, not today, because the video that I'm going to show you people is to bring back things that have already been happened. Because that is always the, the, the problem we have. As a black people, we always forgot something. Things will just happen. It will shortly of a time. It's already been forgotten. That is why I will keep on reminding you. Call me your reminder today. I say you should call me your reminder. Because I want to remind you back and I want to take you people back when this issue started. Over eight months ago. When we were shouting. Person like me, we are shouting every day. A lot of people have said that I have deviated. A lot of people have said that Biafran child have received money. And I still keep on challenging them today. You Have you ever, those of you that are seeing me right now on your screen, and those are going to watch this video later, I want to ask you people just a simple question. Have you ever seen or saw anyone accusing me about money? The answer is no. Because you know why? Nobody pays me. And I never pay anybody. That is why there is none of them can accuse me. Nobody, I said, none of them can accuse me. I am whiter than white, whiter than the uh, whiter than snow. We are the indigenous people of Biafra. And the reason why I want to talk about this Omoakata, I still keep on calling them because they are part of the, they are the part, they play the major part on this 
issue that we have today. They play the major part of it. Because now they want to defend their illiteracy. That is what I call it. Call it, you can also title it, defending their illiteracy. Why they are a real, a stark illiterate? Because those who that they are stacked one. They are hardcore stacked illiterate. That is how I put it. And I will prove it beyond reasonable doubt that you begin to understand that I don't lie because I have a proof. Simon Eber today is calling them illiterate and they are coming to defend their illiteracy. But believe in me, they are real stuck one. I added stuck to it. Because this thing did not start today. All these shenanigans that we have today, the moles and filtrators that they are calling Onyendu their leader, they saw all this thing from the day one. And they, you know, they tried to put themselves, they are learned person. Because there's one of their videos they were saying that Simon Eber was telling them they are illiterate. And believe me, Simon, in this one, in this particular one, Simon Eber really mentioned it good. He knew it. These people are stacked illiterate. You know why I said they stuck illiterate? Since day one, they say they are well learned. They are educated people. Because they, were li they are living in America. They believe that America is the end of the world. Now they find themselves in a ready-made country. Now they believe that they are well rented. You see all these people that always speak big grammar. We have to understand, you see. Knowledge is different from you going to school to study. is something. Wisdom is inborn. You apply your wisdom. And now when you apply a real wisdom and you are a well-learned person, then it can click together. But you, you, may, you may be learned with that wisdom. You can never make it. That is why I keep on calling Omwada today. They are stacked illiterate. And I will prove it so that you people, you all, my audience, will understand that I never lie to what I'm saying. I am coming here to give you the raw. I give you the raw without putting anything inside. No fabrication. No, no, nothing like concocted. We are giving you people the way it's supposed to be. No political correctness. I want you people to understand that all this thing that is going on today, this woman, they started it. And they are stuck illiterate. Now they want to defend their illiteracy. It can never work. We have been shouting for this for over eight months. These people, they are working together from the beginning. Remember, I want you people to, I just want to remind you people. Because not when things happen, we, we just say, uh, just like that. Or if something, no, we, we have, you see, that is why our leader have told us time with that number. That since this, the restoration of Biafra or Biafran restoration project began, that we must at all time record everything that is going on. And that is exactly why, why, that is the reason why we're here. To record and bring back things that people have been forgotten. And those of them that are going to their page to delete all these, you know, all these uh, proofs and things that they have done. They are bad. They have deleted. Simon Emma today have deleted his old page. When he asks him now, he will begin to give you an excuse. There is a lot of things that went wrong. On that page that is why they deleted it and someone ever also went further to some bloggers I don't know what he discussed with them today some bloggers some bloggers even though today all the whole videos of someone ever they have de uh, I mean uploaded they have deleted all of them go to somebody they call milk and sugar sugar honey and something like that extension sugar and honey go there this guy is one of the or the woman I don't know who he is, she is or he is but he always promote all this short clip when they announce when they do this when they begin to abuse the, the DOS the guy this person will begin always post it always post their videos now if you go to their page they have already deleted deleted everything Simon Eber old page have been deleted but they don't know that everything that is happening on social media on this media that we are right now and you are seeing me direct live and direct on your screen everything you post here must remain you can only delete the one on your page you can only go to youtube and pay the youtube 
to delete the one they have. Have you forgotten that, that there's a, so a lot of people that have already downloaded it? Like we, like all this kind of video, we, we download it and keep it for time to come because we're not going to stop. You know, I always told you people the case I have against them by going to Simon Epa page to announce taking over the head of director of state, Mazichiki, Dosim, the man in charge. They went there to announce it. This is part of the reason they deleted their page. You see? The one they have on Omwada, the Omwada came up with the heritage. Went there and said that they have taken over Mazichiki. Dosim, that one for sure they have deleted it. Because I am keep on searching for that one. But I will get it very soon. And I will bring it to our people for them to see that I'm not lying to them. We are coming with, I'm coming always with fact, fact and figures, so that you will not say, be a franchise, the Obukwe Bata. I don't do that. Because I got a lot of things I got a lot You see, all these things that Omwada are doing today, you think some people will be saying, now they are saying the truth, why can't I support them? Why should I support them? Who are they? After eight months. If it's something will happen to our leader, that thing could have happened to our leader. And now they will come out and begin to regret. That is something that I can never buy. I cannot do it. I've been here since the day one, the, since the day one of adoption of our leader and extraordinary rendition from Kenya. That is the day that I start. And I want to tell you people the reason why I stood up, say no, enough is enough. What did I say to them? Enough is enough. It's when they went to Simon Eber Page to announce taking over. That is when I just said, no, this cannot happen. This is a, a criminal in highest level. And we must debunk them. We must stop them. Because if we did, we did not, these people will grow a lot of wings. And it, it will be too late. I want you people to understand that all of them, they are Omoada together. They are together Omoada. The video that I'm going to play now, I'm going to allow the video to play very long I mean, very long term, small, before I will ship something inside. Because I want our people to just to caption about what I'm about to say right now. Those of you that are watching me right now on your screen, and those are going to see the video when the video ends. Okay? So you have to do the needful. Because all these people that are coming out today, I call them inconsequential. And believe me, they are yapping. Believe me, they are omuakata. And believe me, they are illiterate. As Simon Eber called them. I'm not in support of Simon Eber. But they are stuck illiterates. They, their illiteracy have their illiteracy in them have been taking over their, all their minds. All the things that is working on inside their oblaganda. It's no more working. I am not lying to you. If this woman can come out and keep on blaming, they keep on blaming the leadership. Instead of these people that they know that now they begin to see clear. We saw this thing from the beginning. Now they begin to see. After the dice, they have already rolled the dice. Or after the head is off. May God forbid. But we thank Shuko Kikabi Amadade. Our leader Mazen Namdekano, we still, because it's Shuko Kikabi Amadade that sent this man to us to come and tell us things that we don't know. That is why we call him the light of Africa. That is why we call him the mirror of Africa. That is why we call him Ohamadike of Biafra. The man of the man of the whole Africa. The history, we never stop talking about Mazen Namdekano because Mazen Namdekano is the number one figure in Africa. A man that stood up in what he believed and he's ready to die in what he believed. The ideology of Biafra, restoration of Biafra, which all of us agreed and said that Onion do continue, we will follow you. And we keep on following him. And I so much love the, the structure that he lay, he lay down, which is the DOS and lead by Mazichiki. I salute you all because you people are so wonderful. You people are so brave. And there is a lot of wisdom going on there. And that is why we will keep on supporting and defending you people. My love to you people can never stop. But let me proceed on this. Because our people have to get the point. The point is something that I want you to get. That this woman that you're going to see now, they call Madame, or no, Madame Azoka, or Madame, what is her name? We see her name here. 
the name will appear. She is the part of those that say that they want to take over the Mazichike, Dozim. And you know, there's something I want to ask my people. Okay? There's something I really want to ask my people. These people are saying, because I'm trying to point out on this illiteracy, and you can make it as the topic, the illiteracy in these people, and they are now coming now to defend their illiteracy. Why, really, they are illiterate. These people can't even reason at all. They can't even think. They don't have inability to reason. And that's what makes them animal. Because they wear their eight months working with these people, eating and dying with these people. They couldn't even figure it out. After eight months now, now they are coming out to defend their idiocy and their illiteracy. Now, can you ask yourself that question? If they, these people really illiterate. Of course, they are. They represent all, all of them put together. Because if they are part of those that are controlling the account after the, after the adoption of our, our leader, two days they open account. And who signed the account? Nobody knows. After two days, the adoption of our leader. When the doctor, they were there planning, having meeting, calling themselves all sorts of names, idiot everywhere, calling themselves home water, living in America, eating burger, enjoying and drinking wine, sleeping and waking up, have forgotten our brothers and sisters, our mothers, living in Biafra land, suffering all these things every single day. They will be waking up, telling us that they are Omoada. That they are learned people. And they couldn't even figure it out. They are in the group. These people are a group of people. We that we are not among them. Get the point straight. That is why I keep on telling them. They can never know who is Biafran child. You can never know who Biafran child is. I told you people. Any place you people gathered. More than two or three people, you are must be among them. That is why I get all this expose about these people and started this from the beginning. From the beginning, from the beginning, I started this. Do you say that you don't know who I am? Are you going to say you don't know the Biafran child? But let me tell them something. You see, I can, like always, you know, I always try to stretch my hand to people to help them. If they can't, I can't help them. But first, they have to go on their nails because probably, listen, I'm not lying about what I'm saying. These people actually, they are women. We know our own tradition. Forget about, say, we, try, we come to Europe and begin to try to, you know, copy, copy and paste. That is the problem we have today. You copy and go and paste. You want to take over the people that, uh, even though in your Bible that you read, Bible told you that man is the head of the family. And now you want to take over the family because you will travel to America already made country. And because you travel to America, you begin to think that you are educated while your illiteracy has been walloping your brain and you don't have even thinking faculty anymore. All those who mother you see today that are just yapping, talking all sort of rubbish after the dice is off. And the, the worst part of it, they keep on blaming the leadership. Why they are part of Omoada that destroy that came out to announce the coup? One of them, Rosemary. Rosemary was the day supported to take over Mazichike Dozim. Why she understood that is why I'm telling you that the illiteracy in that Rosemary is the highest one. The literacy on that woman is highest one because she was there from the beginning. She couldn't figure it out. Now she wants to come to defend her illiteracy. Woman, let me tell you this. You are real and illiterate. You are the big, the stuck one. Okay? Now let us begin to see the video that I'm talking about. Because we have to see this video that I'm talking about. Okay? We have to see the video. If some of you haven't forgotten... If some of you haven't forgotten, if some of you haven't forgotten, that is the video that we are going to watch now. Okay? We are going to watch this video now. This video you are going to watch is the time they took over 
they came on Simon Eba platform. You see this particular video that I'm showing now is the proof. And that is the case that I always tell my people that I am against them. This is the proof. And this video that you are watching now can never be deleted. They have tried all their best. Delete the video from Simon Eber. Simon Eber have closed his own page because of a video like this. And they, there's a lot of them there that they don't know that I have already copied the video and store it. That they, this video can never go. I, if you go to Simon Eber and I, if you search for this video for internet, it's going to be very hard for you to find this video. But we already have it. Azoka. Azoka is there. Azoka Charles. Probably that is Rabbi Charles. You see it? Azoka Charles. That is Rabbi Charles. This is the people that planned to take over the leadership. Nelly Ofebu is invisible, but later we are going to bring out their pictures. You will see who they are. This one, they write uh, Biafran genocide. That is Madan Oyibo. This one you are seeing up here. Uh, this one here. I think that is Rosemary. The one with red cap. I will, will see their name later. So that you will begin to understand. The other one up here, I don't know who he is. The one in the middle is Simon Eber. The day that he want to take the crown. They want to crown him. That now, uh, Madonna Yibo will take over. But she, he will be walking. Because Simon Eber you are seeing today. I want you people to understand that. This Simon Eber you people are seeing. Simon Eber is not the commander in chief. Believe me. Simon Eber is not the commander in chief. Simon Eber is just, uh, uh, I mean, just like uh, they, they front him uh, as, a, as, a, as their media. Simon Eber is their media room. Why Nelly Ofebu is the spokesperson? Rabbi Charles is the one that is working on the ground. Rosemary is the one that they are using as a, a, the black sheep. Come and announce. We will hear if you are your own and they were there when they were. They are the people that planted all this thing from the beginning. They are the people that come in conclusion that Madono Yibo should take over the head of DOS, which is Mazichike Dozium. You people have forgotten. We are not, you see, like I said, our leader said, told us, everything that you see, take the record. And that is why I'm taking the record. I have told you people time without number. This is the case I have against them. Today, Rosemary, you people will also hear what Rosemary said. This is another video. Let me start be playing the video because I don't want to waste much of your time. I don't want to take much of your time so that people can be able to watch this video. Let's continue now. The video will start just now. Let's begin. Let's begin. Now pay attention. Let, let everybody in the family know that look at the head of the leadership now that is representing Mazin the canon yes, me so, so that everybody will not put his head in one place so this is what i i, I believe that we should do because this thing is, is confusing everybody yes tell me so because like, we don't see the work that these people are doing there the work that the yes my people the woman that is up with blue that is rosemary the one with the suit is simon Eber. The other one is Azoka, Charles. This one is Nelly Ofebu. That is when the Nelly never start appearing. You know, the, she was still hiding by then. I say, but at the end, after we deal with her, she run to come out and show herself. Because that is who we are. We must force you to come. You and you will come. She come at the end. The other one that have, uh, he say Biafran, I think he say Biafran, he say, I don't hear, he say Genecon or genocide. I don't, I could not see it very well. That one is uh, Madame Oyibo, the one that watered her grand with $100,000, audio money, fake money, audio, photo. Let us keep on The first to do is what uh, Mazi Ekba did yesterday by declaring that uh, if they can re release uh, if they can take a uh, Mazi to back to, uh, to prison, that uh, it would be sit at home will be cancelled so that should have been the work of dos right from the day but i was surprised that 
he now it was a mass yet but who had uh did a job yesterday so i was so proud of him so but what i'm saying is this yes. let everybody be okay. aware that uh yeah. the, the head okay. of the gos right now or uh, the yes. the head of the people uh -huh. the, the people that is the, the person that is representing uh the people let everybody everybody be aware so that uh, we us we now the put our head in one place if anything is is wrong or any, anything go wrong we will know who to turn our eyes to so our two a radio biafra it matters a lot is a map the one that brought this issue because this guy we are seeing on the ground is just an a, agent they just brought the guy to begin to ask this kind of question because they don't want them to ask such a question it will be from somebody that is neutral nobody knows him like now they are trying to tell us that this guy is so intelligent for him to bring in for him to bring out these questions this is a plan work like i said it's a plan work you see now you begin to understand what i'm talking about let's proceed but uh the cutting of that video is just the way it is i am not the one that doing it this is how they recorded the video because they are not professionals they are they don't know what they're doing azoka is there and rosemary one other rosemary that just yapping talking all sort of rubbish from her mouth you think that i will come here to begin to support them because after eight months they begin to find out what is going on and you think that i will come here to begin to praise them that right on you will first and foremost to come apologize to the leadership and then you apologize to the media warriors those that have been advocating for this issue before you people just started tomorrow because you people never start oh. you people will still start tomorrow this thing you people are doing now is just say you people never say anything let's continue peace of the people so what i'm trying to say that you need to be in a good ends because through that uh, radio biafra a, a lot of things can be destroyed a lot of things a lot of things because you know, when people is confused it becomes a destruction so but let us fix who is going to handle radio biafra it matters a lot because nobody because the radio biafra is like a uh, a station of gossip right now so there are, I, I, I want you to also throw uh, that is the beginning of planning of their opening their own radio remember that someone ever said he took ipob three years or four years to open a radio but you just took them only two months that is the beginning of the planning i said it before but i have to bring this back of this video to show you people that this are uh, madame snow uh, one other rosemary that was yapping now she's yapping on her coin on her coin you know on her coin i don't buy all this nonsense for me all this nonsense is it's not relevant because we saw all this thing you couldn't see it instead of you to join and begin to beg and plead you begin to yap this rosemary now is part of those that announced Oyibo to take over Mazichike Dozim. if it's like all of us supported them by then like media warriors those Mazen Namdekano uh, 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 followers that believe that Mazen Namdekano have the finest ideology and they have already you know transferred it to us because whenever we are saying that Mazen Namdekano have pregnant a lot of people pregnant a lot of people some people don't get the point now you begin to get the point the ideology is something that you can never kill you can never kill this ideology only what you have to do is negotiate the ideology because it have entered a lot of people's mind and they have already accepted it person like me this uh, rosemary that you people will still see her video later when he was asking these people a question now all of them assembling themselves i call them the one up is rosemary simon Eber, Azoka Chas. and i don't know who is this woman the woman that came with her last time to make a broadcast i've forgotten her name and this one that you see here with a flag is bridget and this one is nelly they are complete they are in their complete uh, uh, you know the group the the headers the heads they are there or the headers because they can also be the headers you see killing and maiming our people on the ground now rosemary have woken up instead of her to go to to the leadership and begin to kneel 
as a woman she is and beg and ask forgiveness from the, 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 the uh, uh, their husbands because these people are they, are they can get them, they can marry them even though these women they are seeing here too, are you, you see, that's what I'm saying let us proceed to listen, Anna Kugeli light to, to that aspect of Radio Biafra as well thank you thank you very much and uh, of course I know a lot of people have uh, questions, a lot of people are saying they want to ask question and uh, I don't think our women have that uh, time now they have spent almost two hours 30 minutes here yes except uh, Madam Rosemary if you want to take one more question sorry can I say something um about the sister that asked the first question please so that we sister Rosemary just a few minutes the sister asked about you know, what are we doing to release our leader from the dungeon? So I want to reassure her that uh, the women have stepped into that shoe and things are happening, things we cannot come on, on the social media to talk. Our leader is going to come out and, uh, and, and release the conditional. So I assure you that your sisters are right behind you. And we have an able women leader and we're on top of the game. And it, like you heard when Dr. Nelly said initially, the American lawyer that came, Mr. Bruce Fain, came because the women sent him with our gallant men. We have some gallant men behind us. I, I, hope, you, I hope you people haven't forgot about Bruce Fain. I talk about it. You see now all of them are the people that brought the fraudulent Bruce Fain. These women, including one other Rosemary, she was included among those that brought that fraudulent, the highest criminal in highest level, Bruce Fame to Nigeria to come and take the signature of our leader. Let me say those things that they plan for eight months ago. Let me say that in work. So now they will begin to cry when the dice is off. That is why I'm trying to tell you people, tie to this message. They are fighting back their illiteracy. They want to come to defend their illiteracy. Because these people, they are illiterates. Believe me. Let's continue. So, we are on top of the game. So, don't be scared. Our leader is, we are working towards that. And coming to the issue of DOS and the, um, the leadership, the leader of the indigenous people we know is the president of the and he said when he's not there, uh, DOS steps into that shoe. The DOS steps into the shoe if they are fair and just. It, that, uh, he, even though she explained it here, how the structure works, she get it. That DOS should step. But now she want to twist. Say if DOS is fair and just that means that the way they will say it here let me let's continue there was something i was very said in her uh, statement she said justice honesty and truth is where we stand and Mazda has said we're going to make that the language of our discussion today so if they are fair and just we don't have any reason not to follow them uh -huh. the reason why it and Mrs. Oyibo has stepped into bed. Mrs. Oyibo is like a mediator. Mrs. Oyibo, she said, and I hope you people heard when this woman, I don't know her name, I've forgotten her name, she called Rosemary. And the Madame Oyibo have stepping up. You Are you listening to it? He, she, they will say it where it's clear. It's coming. They will, they will say it. She doesn't belong, she's not for the DOS and she's not for the, she's not against DOS. She is just for the and for truth. She stepped in because the women saw a lot of complaints and implications going out here and there about the, uh, the setup of our leader for adoption, about misappropriation of funds about indictment and there's so many uh, things on the social media about China and war as a DOS member concerning ESN we have several 
meeting with do it we had several meeting with the china tomorrow and they and they do it yes my great people now you can see them some of them will still come that is madame oyibo when she was uh she was hiding we have gotten their picture we got all of their pictures now do you see when their illiteracy started when this oyibo the woman that you are seeing now that because her face they never saw face but one day she must have face by fire by force when the woman was destroying their minds telling them that the leadership have failed they accepted rosemary and this woman that is talking now accepted what the i mean the lies that oyibo and nelly and rabbi Shas is telling them they accepted it and they buy that idea that is why they came out begin to condemn the leadership and now how did they manage to find out now because they are beginning to wake up from their illiteracy that is why you see i can never praise these people they are just nobody to me they are nobody i don't lie about what i'm saying because i've been here for years for this month talking about the same thing now they have realized i told them about this money before they begin to mention this money i said it to them i make a broadcast broadcast and i bring out the prizes the money they have already spent it till then they never wake up and they will they are still going to they are still going to wake up because they never let us continue um uh, chick, chick and, Rosie and all the rest of them and all these things were not addressed a cardinal point was money, okay. Money, money. A cardinal point was the remove uh, the stepping okay. into the you know yeah, investigative yeah. mode of uh, accusation levied against Nen Mayanya, which he did not do. Despite the several meetings he had with women in America, so based on that, women step into the same. Okay, you said you don't have the power to remove men, Nayanya. You have the power to remove Oliver um, Obi, who is the Eastern coordinator here in America, the largest unit that generated the phone and uh, has the largest. And I want you people to understand, you see, the reason why I kept this video for a long time, they have deleted this video everywhere. It's very hard for you to find this video. I'm telling you. The Oliver now that is squandering our money now. They are calling Simon Epa now is calling this Oliver that he should bring the money that they have sent to his account. You see how all this thing was planned. Now their eyes begin to open. After eight months, when the dice is off, they begin to recall. It's too late for you people. You people are born of idiot. You people are born of cowardice. You people don't even have inability to reason. Stay in America eating burger. Because you are living in America, you thought that you are a learned person. But you don't know that your illiteracy is more than, is beyond comprehension. I don't know how to put in this English. Comprehend. Your idiocy is beyond comprehend. There's no how. Because you people are just cowardice. Illiteracy people. You are now coming to defend your illiteracy. Let's watch and see. You see how they have manipulate to get to this level they are now they begin to open their eyes let's go without any due process so if you don't have the power to remove me in a pending investigation in the adoption of our leader in the misappropriation of the tsm fund our beautiful money fund then you don't have the right to remove oliver and having said that we now find out there is in balance, we cannot talk of uh, you know everybody talking up for peace, but nobody talking of justice. We cannot talk of peace without talking of justice. So that tells the different women in the United States, championing their case of Umaga worldwide, that somebody is compromised or somebody's interest is being protected somewhere. And based on that, we beg on Madame Boyibo who Nanikalu Onyendu gave the mandate to intervene and step in when he's not there. We better you hear it when they pronounce it to step in, to step in. 
uh, Rosemary is there up. They are supported. The woman that is talking is the one they used to come and, uh, you know, willing to, to come and open her mouth and begin to say nonsense. That time, their mind was not there. They have already, you know, siphoned them, brainwashed them, as learned as they claim they are. Why now they are defending the what? They are illiteracy. Pay I have to step in because it is now a leadership issue. Somebody is protecting some interests, and some interests are thrown out there. And we cannot get into the Africa if we are not honest, clean, and pure. That is part of the problem the zoo has today injustice, corruption, and cover up. Therefore, we may, in leadership, we never cover any evil, any injustice. So, based on that, Madame Oibo stepped into that. So, she's going to follow the affairs of Yafra. Are you people listening? Moving forward until our leader comes out. So, moving forward, moving forward till our leader come out. Madame Oibo, the one that put her hand on her ear. That who that is Madano Ibo. That is the woman they say that she she should step. This is something that, that they have already discussed. You know, they're just trying to, you know, to pronounce it to the public so that the public will know that they have already taken over the leadership. Today, do you know that these people now are accusing the Madano Ibo? They are now coming to defend their illiteracy. <laughs> now let us pay attention. I just want to be taking it little by little. So that you will understand every point. This is something that happened, I think, two days or uh, three days or one week after the adoption of our Union Dumas and Namdekan. They couldn't wait, you. They have already announced, they have already do everything, projected themselves to take over in totality, to be, to be in charge. By today, if these people succeeded, let, let's just imagine that if these people succeeded, do you know where we are today? These people that have already brainwashed, like Rosemary and the other one that put in white beret, where are they going to be today? If there is no people like the DOS, those that stand, say that all this thing, it does not, this is not the way it's supposed to be. These people are pushing me to just, you know, remove other men, Nayanya, and let us sit up and take the control of, maybe probably one of them will take over other men, Nayanya. And the problem they have because Nelly Ofebu and the Oyibo have brainwashed them and they believe in everything they were telling them that if they leave, if they remove Adan and Nayanya and add one of them, things will go well. They don't know that even though they are brainwashing them, they are just waking up now. Hannah Alarora since eight months. These people have been sleeping since eight months. They're just waking up today. And you want me to come and tell them, right on. Chukubono Chani Noko there. Yes. Okay, 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 okay. Well, there's something I want to say these days. It's something is this that uh, uh, right now, who is not representing our leader, Mazina de Kano? Who is not representing now? They want to make it. Clear. Who are we looking up to? Pay attention it's now. Not about who we are hearing voice in different places. Because those, those voices we are hearing in different places is not is not beginning to convince us. I mean. It's, in fact, it's not distracting us and I know that. But what, now what I'm saying is this. Who are we not looking up to? Now that our leader is not around. Oh, yeah, tell them. Because yes. we are, are, are two. Yes. Are two. Yes. Our Rodo Biafra, they have helped a lot. They have, they have made a, 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 a lot of people to see what is going on. So right now we need to see that a radio Biafra you need to be in the right person's hands. Okay, my people, uh this video uh I I have done with this video because uh you can see now as uh, the way I I I get the video it was repeating itself again uh because we have heard uh at eight minutes when they were saying that they want to uh they are ready to take over they not they are ready they have already taken over the leadership they have already taken over mazichike dozium i think that i will allow the video to play once again without any interaction so that you people will hear it because 
the video repeat itself again we have captioned where we want to hear that they really said it that they are taking over azoka is there that is the azoka this is ada awada rosemary i've forgotten the name of this woman the other one there is simon eba the one wear suit with a long uh, shoe that was Nelly Ofebu. The one, the one that jumping in the middle was Eberima uh, in Finland. They are bingo. They are uh, projecting because you people are calling Simon Eba. They, 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 they are just projecting him to come, to just stay in the front. But they, he has nothing. They, they, they have a lot of, even though a proof, but I don't want to bring, I don't want to add something on this video. I want this video to be particular to this, I mean this, the, the, the pronounce of their coup. Because this thing I'm, I'm giving you to you, you people are saying right now, is that coup that I keep on saying? That is where I find my case against them. On this coup, by saying that they are going to change Mazishi Kedosium. Let us listen to the video once again, uh, because this guy is the one that they brought, they, 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 just an agent. That will come begin to ask them questions. Let us repeat it again. Then I will bring their latest video where Rosemary now was shouting. Now money no can keta. Now now jump. We just the the yap. I call it yapping. Instead of you to go to the leadership and begin to kneel and beg them and plead that you, you don't know. They, they they siphon you that you are a real illiterate. You can, this is how you will present yourself. So that they will find a way to, uh, if they want to accept. Tell them that your illiteracy is too much. That is, is something that nobody can ever uh, you know where to start. You tell them the truth. Because truly you people are illiterate. Truly. Let us pay attention before I will go to another one. So that we we'll listen to it very clear. Now pay attention. Yes, Stanley. It's not the real Biafra. It's not something right. But anybody can just come and say anything he likes. Yes, it's so that you come out. It's something that you through the you educate our people, let our people to know what is going on. So those are the things I want to I want to ask. To those are the two things I want to ask. I think uh, your question is good, and uh, is a very uh, sensitive question. We know that uh, in the absence of our leader, Mazen Amdikano, the people that are in charge is DOS. So I don't think the women. Have any other contrary opinion to that? Your oh, oh. That is the game. That is how the game started. Simon Eba will appear as a as a dove now, as a angel. As I have told you people time with that number. I'm not real a broadcaster. All this thing that you people are seeing today, we are doing is just because we are learned people. We are truly umuchukuki kapiama. That is who we are. That is why it, it don't take us a time to learn things. I'm not a presenter. I'm not a broadcaster. But today, I have built myself that I can be able to interview people, broadcast, without stopping. Giving you, I mean, bringing back your knowledge where you have kept it. Sleeping and strumbling. You see what I'm saying today? Simon Eba came to play innocent boy. But you don't know that every broadcast that is out there, the key points have been discussed. I am part of the broadcaster now. I'm just trying to tell you people. Because he's playing a, 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 a innocent boy that he don't know. Now after he said what he said, the only one that come in, tell them that there is otherwise. That is a plan B because that is what we hear now. After Simon F, a yap finish. Let me take it back a little bit. So that you people will understand. After he yap, the plan B enters. Then you know that they know what they are doing. Now listen again. That's right. You need to be in the right person's hands. Yes, yeah, Stanley. It's not the real Biafra. It's not something right. But anybody can just come and say anything he likes. Yes, it's so that you come and it's something that you through the you educate our people. Let our people to know what is going on. So yeah, those are the things that. So I want to ask. To, these are the two things I want to ask. You are welcome. You have asked your question. Now, I think uh, your question is good mm -hmm. and uh, it's a very uh, sensitive question. We know that uh, in the absence of our leader, yes. Mazen Amdikano, yes. the people that are in charge is DOS. Now, so I don't think the women have any other contrary opinion now, to that. Your oh, oh, question. Yeah, yeah. 
Yes, you can call him. Yes. Now who is talking is one other Rosemary. One other Rosemary have taken over the floor. Want to tell them, yes, there is a plan B. That is what I want you people to understand. The Rosemary that is yapping today, they have plan B. Now pay attention to Rosemary. Pay attention. You will understand that these people are now coming to defend their illiteracy. Uh, my dear brother, uh, your question is a good one. And um, we have to let you know that Biafra is a nation. Biafra has a structure. And the nature of the Biafra movement is not as in the Italian. And we have the BOS. We have the regional coordinators, we have the coordinators, and then all the principal officers as they should be. Yes. And then we have the HOD, who we refer to as the second in command. Second in command. But uh, legally, Marvin and the has a legal representative. It's like EJ. So in this process, we all know that our leader is using the state in parables. And we keep saying, when the women, especially the women from the United States rises up, and therefore we be here, we have thinking that is because we know that we have all the women and everything. But now it's down to us that we have a legal representative that stands for you in his absence and that is Madame Rita Aze. Madame Rita. And Madame Olivo is the person that represents her. And now she is still, still no longer going the right way because she has always been neutral. She has not come to interfere with the affairs of the U.S. and all the people that are running the Japan nation because she also is the person that is in charge of the of uh, the here in the United States. So she stays neutral. But as things are going here now, she has stepped in. I believe that we saw that later that is circulating and that's why we asked the question. Yes, Madam Rita Aiken, Olivo, she is now the representative of Marcy Namita. And uh, you know that in the family, the DOS is supposed to be. So, Madam Mendo is not in charge. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We have listening to it once again. Now, I will take the video out. I have to take the video out. Then I will bring a new video. I have to take this video out. You know why? I want you to repeat again so that every one of us will understand. When you see that the woman that put on red beret, uh, white beret, when she, when she spoke, she said things in her own capacity. But when this one other Rosemary take over the floor, he explained everything the way it's supposed to be. Like now, Madame Oyibo, Rita Eze, he call it Madame Oyubo, Rita Eze, have been taken over. She is the one now in charge. And the woman, there is something that this Rosemary said. He speaks in parable on this video. He said, she said, I mean to say, I'm sorry. She said that whenever you go in a place, they have a king. I want to translate it so you understand that this woman herself, the, I mean, I don't know how to define the illiteracy in this woman. Believe in me. 
She said, she used a parable said, every place they have a king. When the king is no more, they must have somebody that are going to represent the king. Now she's talking about the king. So now whenever in your place, now my question to you, all of you is like, in that place that you have a king, in your community that you have a king. So when your king die, now they are looking for a woman to, to take over the king or they are looking also a man to take over the king. This is what is, this is the kind of illustration that this woman gave here on this video. At the end, he's telling you that Rit Eze, Madan Oyibo, is now in charge. You see where I say that there is something wrong with this woman. They blinded this woman that this woman couldn't even understand. They brainwashed this woman to the core that this woman begin to behave and show her illiteracy outside. But now she begin to, she's still sleeping. Now, I want to bring this video. Let us bring this video, please. Let us bring this video so that we will see. You will see. Now we will see. You know that I'm not lying. Let Hello, us... beautiful people. Welcome to Global Happiness today. Okay. Okay, let us see this video. This is now a latest video of that descent, Rosemary. The one that I first showed you people was the coup. When they did the coup. And they, all of them were together. They call Omwada by then as, a, as their own family. And these people, even though tell the people of Biafra they are different from IPOB, they are not listening to, to the leadership. But at the end, they want to take over the leadership. This Omwada Rosemary now that is, she's yapping, talking all sort of rubbish from her mouth. Now you will listen to what she said. After Kofu, Leanna, you think I will be the last people or the last person on this earth we ever support you people. If you like, you say whatever you want to say. I've been saying all this thing before you begin to realize. Now, it's too late. And for you to understand what I'm saying, first you have to go to DOS, the highest office of this movement, and go on your nail and begin to, I mean, Ask forgiveness. After then, you come for the media warriors. Those that stand fame. Because without us today, they could have taken over. Before the waking up of you people now, is is you people will wake up in your grave. Because by that time, things have already been destroyed. I call them mad people everywhere. Mad people everywhere. Listen to the woman. I see the new yapping and ranting of the woman. Let me tell you people, I still can stretch my hand to you. I can still help you people. But you people have to go to the leadership. Because you see all this publication that you people are doing. Nobody is hearing this. We will make it big. You see this publication, this thing that you people brought now. We can make this thing go more bigger. And expose these people once and for all. But you have to stand, forced to go to the leadership and go on your nails. All of you, call Omwada, you people have to go on your nails and kneel down and begin to say, we are sorry. We don't know that such a thing will happen. We have been brainwashed. They have already covered our eyes. We don't know what is going on. Pleading with crying. And later you come to the media warriors. Then we can make this thing. We can, we, you see, we will establish this in bigger form. Because you, you, can, you, can, you people are still running from platform to another. Uh, with platform of 10,000 viewers. You own you, you start back. That is why you see now on this quest of self-determination. You people are just a good follow now. And all this video is something that I have already watched. Keep in my diary. That we can never forget about this. Now listen to Mwada Rosemary. When she's yapping. Telling you, defending her. Illiteracy, or their illiteracy. She's defending their illiteracy. Now pay attention. I will not say anything on this one. It will play end. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Global Happiness today. This video you're about to watch, it's expository. Some many hours ago, about 24 to 48 hours ago, Ima Powerful 
made a press release that's uh, the media publicity secretary of IPOB made a press release and also take a swipe at um, a, a Umada, Umada America. In fact, he called them Umada Highway. But that is where now, they, what Umada they are. is giving out information based on the, from, the investigation they carried out. They are asking a lot of personal questions. Now, they asked questions and directed their questions to Simon Ekba. The main mention of one seven hundred forty-seven thousand dollars, seven hundred forty-seven thousand dollars. They talked okay. about one twenty-one million naira. No. Now, before now, Umada and Simon Ekba seem to be in synergy, but <laughs> right now it looks like a lot is happening. As Umada have decided to do their investigations, you will see the video. You will hear from the oh, horse's yeah. mouth. I did not see. It is Umada themselves that are talking. After access no, that process, was Mary. Simon Ekba did a little reply telling them. Ishiake. For those who don't understand, to those you of see? us who do not understand what Ishiake means, Ishiake means coconut head. Now, Umada Hai, we started asking questions. Questions about Mazenab Kano adoption and how they got um, approval for a lot of things when Mazenab Kano was supposed to be in torture in Kenya. You will, in fact, I'm just giving you clips. Of some of the things Umada reviewed via the investigation, I did not say. Umada has said, "You will hear from the horse's mouth yourself." Watch the video together. There's some questions they asked. No one have an understanding how they got the questions or the answers. But if you have the answers, please meet us in our comment section after this video. Watch how they took that. This was just a clip, so they they downloaded enough. And with their evidences, they came with their evidences and paper proofs. What's the video together with? Simon Epa, our people are dying. Okay. And all you are caring about is tomatoes and pepe. All right. 21 million, how much is it? Nothing. Is it for the, in, uh, the uh, what, uh, youth? Is it for the uh, half year youth? To compare what? Is it for the uh, uh, here? Youth, uh -huh. is it for the people in Anambra? Youth, okay, is it for the ones in uh, Akwa Ibum? Youth or the Igwacha? Tell us the part that need this money, Simon Eba. Before you can take our focus from our goal, what we are determined to do, June 27, 2021. Pay attention. Our brother, uh -huh. number one brother for the Umwada, Biafra worldwide, who is the supreme leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, was paraded in handcuffs. Okay. And what happened? In Nigeria. And what happened after that? He was drugged up. Uh -huh. Drug. Drug. He couldn't even know where he was. Yes. They covered his head uh -huh. and paraded him. June 27, and I think 28, that they brought him to the view of the people. What happened, Rosemary? And on June 30, two days later, NGO yes. was opened, yes. registered, uh -huh. and they said, that our brother Mazinga de Kano, who is the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, sign it. Gave them the authority. Okay. The consent. Fraud. To register that. Number one fraud. Now pay attention. Before he was shown to us, nobody saw him okay. for more than two weeks. People were worried. Okay. And he came up like this. We want to know. Continue. When did he give the order to open this uh, this uh, uh, account, this incorporate that helped them to open the account? Okay. That made them move seven hundred forty-seven thousand American dollars. Seven hundred and forty-seven thousand American dollars. It was moved. It was moved. An eyewitness. Eyewitness. It's not backing down. It's not backing down. We had her voice clip when she discussed with Oyibo. My God. We have had 23 pages here 
where she described what is inside it. Simon Eva, we are not looking for 21 million naira. They we are, are looking, looking for, for 747,000 American dollars. And our brother was under chain. He was drugged up and covered. When did he give that consent? Where is the letterhead from his attorney Rosemary with them signing that our brother gave that consent? That's what we are looking for, Sam Do not provoke us, so you should not provoke us. Continue. What happened to our brother? Rosemary, you are who asking. bought his ticket? Good. Who knew that he was in Kenya? Good. Who bought this uh, uh, consent? Was the person on the ground when he was kidnapped? Was the person on the ground when he was being tortured? Was did the person have an agent? We need to know what is happening. You don't know. And for my for my uh, dear friend youth, even Simon never said that it's for the Igbo youth, okay. not even for their friend. Okay. So um uh -huh. Oh, Munam, the work and the why remember and you woman munanu, your big aunties, your big sisters, your mothers. I won't want to be you want to be worldwide. Why am I shown? Is she on the day? Come on, Simon, I have a hammer one nine worker. Simon, I have a color. You remember, Mazinam de Cano. So you are not you are not opening your eyes. He has decided to pervert to pervert justice. He has decided to carry this case. Simon, where is my brother Martin the Kano? Where is my brother? Simon, where is my brother? You must tell us what you know about his kidnap, his rendition. Because we have seen that all the expositions you have been doing, they are all fake. They are all fake. That's why you people have become a canker worm inside IPOB, eating us slowly, 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 destabilizing everything Mazin and the Kano has put in place so that you can become the king of Hindu. You can take over from him. You people can silence him down. Oh, my name, John Simon Eber, she'll never want my work here, no. Simon Eber, I put it to you. You, Oibo, that's Rita Eze, and Nelia Femi, bring us, uh, bring us to us, bring to us, our brother, whatever you do to him, now that you have left him inside the dungeon of the DSS and you are looking for tomatoes and pepper, it's a shame. <laughs> it's a shame. We have seen you. We have seen you. You are now naked in the public arena. Eropuano Nade. Great people of Biafra. Great people, I will end this video. I can't take it anymore. I can't take it anymore. I'm telling you people, I can't take this anymore. Mazin Namdeke, and I just want to tell you, I'm very, very sorry. I'm sorry for all these things that is happening. I don't know how these people come to this struggle. Just, just, just want to sell you out. I don't know how. I don't know how. I, I will just end the video because I'm just tired. But I want you to know something this. Rosemary, I want you to know that you are the one of the highest evil that we have on this struggle. 
Rosemary and your group, I want you people to understand that anything that happened to Mazin Namdekano, you people, we will hold you people responsible of everything that happened. Rosemary, you were there. You know all these things. And we are just shouting on top of our voice. You know all these things from the beginning. You never come out to say it. You were working with them, eating and dying with them. Now, now you are coming out to tell us if like Mazin Namdekano, they killed Mazin Namdekano in Kenya. If it's like Mazin Namdekano, you do not succeed this today. So now you will keep mute. You are coming to tell us because Mazin Namdekano survived it. You are looking away to so that we will forgive you. Nobody will forgive any of you that call Omoada. Nobody will forgive you people because you people are evil. Now you are coming to tell us that we should go and hold Simon responsible of what happened to our leader. So you know all this thing from the beginning after the adoption of our leader. You are keeping it. Eating, dying with them. Discussing, trying to find a way to destroy IPOB. If it's like Rosemary, if it's like your plan with your cause and you people finally get what you people want and we destroy IPOB. Today, there will be no, there will nothing will be like IPOB. There is nothing will be like the leadership. And now these people will take it over. And you want to tell me that this thing you are saying today, who will hurt you? Who will hear you? You will just go and die in shame. You are forgotten that is a people now that already they are fighting. That is why you have your dirty mouth, your stinking, stupid mouth to come and begin to talk rubbish. I will never take all this thing from you people. I have said, my leader, I'm sorry. With all, all these things, you don't deserve all this. You don't deserve all this, but we are human. You see, we are fighting for Biafra to come. But I want you to know that Rosemary and the other woman that wear red, white cap, all of them are part and parcel of this. I mean, this evil that is happening today. They are part and parcel of it. They are the root of all this problem. Br Madam Rosemary Williams, you are involved 101%. You are involved. You are part of those that destroyed the leadership today that we have already built back. You are part of those that are coming to destroy what Mars and Namkan have planned because you are involved from day one. After eight months, you are coming now to tell us to yap, to talk nonsense, to talk nonsense from your mind. I cannot take it, my Margaret people. I just want to end this video here. I'm sorry uh, that you, maybe this is my first time to ever drop a water for my eyes but uh, 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 this is how it is we are all women i'm just having some feeling for our leader by passing through all these things that is why i i man never cry but sometimes such a thing happen i'm just feeling what happens to this our leader mass in namkan how this man come to this level and how these people manage to sell him out they are part of it great people i salute you all Good day and welcome.